Hello my very good friends, Andy here for Wall Culture Wrestling, back again with another news update, or should I say another Crown Jewel update, because that's what these segments are fast becoming, and understandably so. WWE's upcoming Saudi Arabian show continued to make major headlines over the weekend, and boy, is this thing getting interesting. There was even a report that the company had completely removed Crown Jewel from their events page, but I can confirm that that is false. It was never there to begin with, and neither was the greatest Royal Rumble before it. The fact is that WWE never had Crown Jewel on that listing at all. The official ticket website has always been elsewhere. Now that is a little bit weird, but it's how it's always been, so don't get it twisted. On top of all this, pundit John Oliver actually shone light on the Saudi Arabian situation on his show last week tonight yesterday making special mention of WWE's 10-year deal with Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Oliver called the greatest Royal Rumble wall-to-wall -wall propaganda about the new Saudi Arabia, then played a clip of John Cena's promo at the event where he praised the nation, stating, and I quote, Crown Jewel is still scheduled for November, meaning that John Cena could well be back there, which I guess in this context means you don't see the human rights abuses right here. So the criticism is certainly heating up, but with regards to whether or not the event will actually go ahead, Dave Meltzer has confirmed with his WWE sources that it is still planned, but the company may well have a contingency plan in place should they need to pull out. The Daily Beast have mentioned the possibility of doing the show in Manchester, England on November 4th instead, as WWE will already be in the city for tapings on the 5th and 6th of November anyway. On top of this, the Manchester Arena does not currently have anything booked in for that night, so it does make sense in that regard, but still, I wouldn't put any money on the event actually being pulled out of Saudi Arabia. As we spoke about on Friday's video, there is a deal in place between Saudi Arabia and WWE, so pulling out would have huge legal ramifications, and on top of that, Vince McMahon would be walking away from a boatload of money. But that being said, there are loads of potential ramifications for if the show goes ahead as well. For more on that, check out a great article written by our own Benjamin Richardson, which I'm sure one of our lovely video editors will fill in down below. Anyway, folks, that's the latest on the crown jewel situation and WWE's business dealings with Saudi Arabia, but stay tuned, I'm sure this story isn't going anywhere and we'll probably have more updates as the week progresses. But for now, go ahead and let us know what you think down in the comments section below. Once you've done that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and once you've done that, head on over to whatculture.com forward slash WWE, check out some great articles from the likes of Jamie Kennedy, Michael Hamflet, and my dad, the wizard, Michael Sidgwick. You'll have a great time, I've been Andy, and I'll see you later.